Hey everybody, it's Dan and Rach from Primal for Life and we are making a pumpkin chicken chili and we're going to enjoy this in a paleo wrap. This is straight out of the Gather cookbook, The Art of Paleo Entertaining and we picked this up from julianbakery.com in their paleo section. And uh, Rach is cutting up some chicken now and uh, we have some peppers and onions right here and uh, we're actually halving the recipe. It normally calls for... Uh, it serves 12 and we're going to uh, set it up to serve six so right now we have a bunch of spices a tablespoon of the wonderful paleo butter which you can also get through julianbakery.com in their paleo section it's a uh, french style clarified ghee it's very 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 low in lactose so if you're uh, lactose intolerant you might want to try this stuff and it has vitamins a d and vitamin k which is a hard to get vitamin uh, very tasty, very creamy, and I like to use it in some of the finest of our recipes. So uh, we have some of the spices, some chicken, and that paleo butter, butter in here with uh, the onions and peppers. And uh, Why don't you tell them what's in the spices? Yeah, the spices are onion powder, garlic powder, chipotle powder, ground cinnamon, smoked paprika, ground nutmeg, and ground ginger. So, uh, pretty simple to make, and uh, we're going to transfer that over into our crock pot in a little while. So, uh, we'll let this simmer all day, and uh, we'll come back later from our fair that we're going to hit up, and uh, should be done. So, we will see you soon. And uh, I apologize, I got a little ahead of myself. Before we go, there's another step. Uh, so, we did it in batches, we put it in the crock pot, and now Rachel's adding in some pumpkin. Yep. 100% pure made pumpkin. Some fire roasted tomatoes. We're going to add some tomato paste. Tomato paste, in case you didn't catch that. Sorry, I wanted to clean off my spoon. And some chicken broth. And then the rest of that spice mixture we made. Yum. Some salt. So we've got the Quantum Pink Salt, available through julianbakery.com. Great it's to taste, so. Yep. Great blend of uh, salts. And some pepper. I'm not going to go too crazy on the pepper because we have like Chipotle pepper in there. We're going to stir this all up, combine it. And you can do this on the stove top as well. Like Dan said, we're headed out to a fair. So we want to get this in our crock pot and have it cook while we're gone and have our dinner ready when we come back. We figured this was very appropriate for this time of year. It's, uh, it's almost October. Um, and that's the beauty of the cookbook gather. This is the harvest dinner section. And there's a bunch of meals that go along with this type of uh, season. So the pumpkin chicken chili is what we chose, and I think that's going to go great in our paleo wrap, which has that nice coconut flavor. I think the coconut, the pumpkin, all those awesome spices are going to just blend very, very well. So how long are we going to let this sit for? Uh, four to six hours. Four to six hours. We'll see you soon. Okay, so our pumpkin chicken chili wrap is all set. We have a couple paleo wraps under here, since this is nice and warm and a little wet, I want the extra barrier there. Uh, one is usually good enough, but while I'm talking and photographing over here, <laughs> it's uh, it's going to start getting a little warm. So two is going to give me a little extra insurance as well as a little added flavor. I love that coconut. It's going to go so well with this meal. Uh, and still only 70 calories per wrap, only four net carbs. Got some fiber and uh, protein in there. It's a great way to uh, to lose weight because it'll keep you fuller and uh, it's all healthy fats from the coconut too. So uh, make sure you pick up some paleo wraps, make sure you pick up a copy of Gather, some quantum pink salt, and some paleo butter, all from julianbakery.com slash paleo. Alright folks, so this is Dan and Rach, I hope you enjoy this meal.